Here we go again. Manchester United midfielder Kabi Mainu is among the new faces called up to the England U21 squad. Mainu, Leeds versatile player Archie Gray, and Luton's centre-back Tedden Mengi have all been called up for the first time to play in the Euro 2025 qualifiers against Azerbaijan and Luxembourg. Head coach Lee Carsley has chosen a team of 24 players. This includes Chelsea's Carney Chukwemeka, Bournemouth's Alex Scott, and Aston Villa's Morgan Rogers, who are also getting their first call-ups. Mainu, who is only 18, has played for United in the Premier League, Champions League and FA Cup this season, scoring two goals. Everton's Jared Branthwaite and Chelsea's Cole Palmer have both been picked for Gareth Southgate's senior squad for the friendlies against Belgium and Brazil at Wembley in March. Some players from the last under-21 squad won't be playing because they're injured. These include Liam Delap, who is on loan at Hull from Manchester City, and Norwich's Jonathan Rowe. England are currently three points behind Ukraine in Group F. They will travel to Azerbaijan for their next qualifying match on March 22. After that, they will host Luxembourg in Bolton on March 26. Meanwhile, Marcus Rashford has been heavily linked with a move to Paris Saint-Germain for a while now. The Manchester United ace first emerged as a target for the French Giants a couple of years ago, but an exit from Old Trafford has never materialized. In the meantime, Rashford has remained a key player for the Red Devils. At just 26, the England international has already featured 393 times for Manchester United, scoring 130 goals and providing 74 assists. Despite some unimpressive performances this season, Rashford is still widely regarded as one of the most dangerous forwards in Europe, and he's continued to court interest from the French capital. So, with that being said, the Manchester Evening News has taken a look at everything you need to know about the forward and a potential switch to PSG. Speaking to reporters ahead of Manchester United's clash against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinal, Eric Ten Hag ruled out Rashford's departure. The Dutchman said, We did not sign him last season for four years with the intention to sell him now. He should be part of this project. It is not a subject we don't talk about. Again and again. Two Manchester United players ruled out versus Liverpool. A few Man United players could be back this weekend, but they have recorded two more injuries this week. Backup goalkeeper Alte Bayendir is unavailable for Manchester United's FA Cup quarter-final against Liverpool with a muscle strain. Bayendir will not link up with the Turkey national squad for their friendlies against Hungary and Austria later this month. United goalie Tom Heaton resumed full training this week, and he is set to be named on the bench after missing the past eight games with a niggle. Summer signing Bayendir's only appearance for United came against Newport County in the FA Cup fourth round. He was not down to start against Liverpool. Johnny Evans is also out this weekend after it was agreed. He required a period of recovery to overcome a knock. He has been managing. Evans started in the last two games against Manchester City and Everton. England manager Gareth Southgate confirmed on Thursday, Harry Maguire is back in training. The centre half could replace Evans alongside Raphael Varane. Denmark coach Kasper Juhlmund suggested Rasmus Hoyland, sidelined for the past three weeks with a muscular problem, would start against Liverpool. United manager Eric Ten Hag will provide an update on his fitness at his pre-match press conference this afternoon. Obvious, Rasmus will play on Sunday against Liverpool and must go through the match well, Juhlmund said on Tuesday. That's what we expect. We are in contact with United. I have talked to Eric, and we expect it to happen. But it is clear that he has to go through the match well, and there must be nothing wrong with him after the game, for it to be possible for him to play for Denmark. Maguire was named in Southgate's England squad for the upcoming friendlies against Brazil and Belgium, while Hoyland was included in the Denmark squad. Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Mason Mount resumed full training on Tuesday after long layoffs. On the other side, Manchester United face tricky. Marcus Rashford puzzle with time running out on his legacy, hope. Ahead of this summer's transfer window, Man United forward, Marcus Rashford, is once again being linked with the prospect of a move to Paris Saint-Germain. How do you replace Kylian Mbappe? 
it is a puzzle. Paris Saint-Germain are going to have to try and solve this forthcoming summer. After seven years in the French capital, the 25-year-old will leave the club at the end of the season and almost certainly join Real Madrid. He will leave a gaping hole in PSG's attack that they have somehow got to try and fill with a player of similar ilk. Not for the first time, Manchester United Academy graduate Marcus Rashford is being linked with succeeding the French international. Reports elsewhere this week have suggested that PSG are preparing a $75 million offer to test United's resolve. The French club have been long-term admirers of Rashford, holding talks with his brother and agent Dwayne Maynard back in August 2021. PSG, however, never submitted an official offer for the England international. There was suspicion the rendezvous with PSG was a negotiating tactic to put pressure on United to offer Rashford a new contract, which he earned in July last year, keeping him at the club until 2028. Rashford was worthy of earning a new long-term deal last summer after plundering 30 goals. It was the first time he had reached such landmark in his career, and he became the first United player since Robin Van Persie a decade earlier to reach such an illustrious figure. This season, Rashford is running out of time to reach double figures. His penalty in last weekend's 2-0 win over Everton marked just his seventh goal of the campaign in all competitions. Like so many of his teammates, the 26-year-old has failed to perform at the peak of his powers this season, getting nowhere remotely close to the levels he hit last term. Eric Ten Hag, somewhat ambitiously, said at the end of last season, he felt Rashford was capable of scoring 40 goals a season. There is no doubt Rashford is an outstanding talent. His goal in the derby against Manchester City earlier this month was a reminder of his capabilities is why it is hard to make a firm judgment on whether or not United should cash in this summer in the event of PSG knocking on their door with a lucrative offer. His contract situation means the Reds will be within their rights, as they should, to demand a big money fee if PSG select him as their top target to replace Mbappe, again and again. Manchester United have received a timely injury boost ahead of facing Liverpool in Sunday's FA Cup quarter-final clash. Aaron Wan-Bissaka returned to first-team training on Tuesday afternoon, along with midfielder Mason Mount, as the Red Devils stepped up their preparations for the visit of Jurgen Klopp's side. Wan-Bissaka has not featured for the club since a 2-2 draw with Tottenham Hotspur in January. Meanwhile, Mount has missed the vast majority of his debut campaign at Old Trafford. The former could well come straight into the team, though it would be a surprise to see the latter involved after such a long time on the sidelines. Eric Ten Hag also revealed on Saturday he is hopeful Harry Maguire and Rasmus Hoyland could make their respective returns to the matchday squad.